Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. It has been a while. February has been a super busy month, meaning I've not actually gotten to most of the books I wanted to read this month. But do you know what we always have time for? An unboxing video. <laughs> this is my favourite type of video to film, as you'll know if you've been here before. And I've been putting off opening these for this video for ages now. I mean, I was busy, so couldn't like film and that's why I haven't opened them. But these have been sitting and I've resisted and I am so proud of myself. But let's get unboxing. So I'm gonna do the fairy loot box first and inside fairy loot, I have both the YA and the adult book. So I'm just gonna open this up off camera and get sorted. So as I said, for Fairy Loot, I have both the YA and the adult book. I actually don't know which is which, but this one feels slightly bigger. Let's go with this one first. And let's actually play a fun game. Let's see if I can guess. I'm gonna guess it's the YA book. Right, first sneak peek, guys. <gasps> Look at the colors. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's giving like Celtic or something like that. Let's see. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So it comes with this, which has a note from the offer. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous. A Fate, Ink and Blood by Danielle L. Jensen. I think I've heard of this book, A Fate, Ink and Blood. I am like 90% sure I've heard of this. So oh, I'm excited, I'm excited. Okay. Oh, it's even gorgeous on the inside, guys. The end pages are beautiful. So we have this for one of the end pages. Oh, naked book is so bright too. And then this is the other end page. And this is the book Naked. Oh, I don't know if you can properly see. It's like very shiny and there is a man and woman together this is actually i think the adult book let's see if i can find the wee card for it so it is this is the adult book 50 50 chance and i got it wrong proud of me yep so the book only adult book oh as i do with all of these videos i will read through the blurb so that you know what this book is about and can see if it's something that you would be interested in I am just interested in how absolutely stunning this is. Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Oh, beautiful. Okay, the blurb. I actually love the dust cover for this as well. It's stunning. Okay. A woman blessed by the gods' battles to unite a nation under a power-hungry king, while also fighting her growing desire for his fiery son. In this Norse-inspired fantasy, romance from the best-selling author of the Bridge Kingdom series. Bridge Kingdom, I've heard of that. I've heard of that. Not read it though. Okay. <laughs> Bound in an unwanted marriage, Freya spends her days gutting fish, but dreams of becoming a warrior and of putting an axe in her boorish husband's back. Freya's dreams abruptly become reality when her husband betrays her to the region's jarl, landing her in a fight to the death against his son. To survive, Freya is forced to reveal her deepest secret, she possesses a drop of a goddess's blood, which gives her magic capable of repelling any attack. A magic that was foretold would unite the fractured nation of Skaland beneath a king, the one who controls the Shield Maiden's fate. Believing he's destined to rule Skaland, the fanatical Jarl binds Freya with a blood oath and orders his son, Bjorn, to protect her from their enemies. Desperate to prove her strength, Freya must train to fight and learn to control her magic, all while facing perilous tests set by the gods, except the greatest test of all may be resisting her forbidden attraction to Bjorn. If Freya succumbs to her lust for the charming and fierce warrior, she risks not only her own destiny, but the fate of all the people she swore to protect. Okay, forbidden love. Sounds good. I don't know how I feel about the blurb. I think I'll like it. I'm like 90% sure I'll like it, I think. I don't know. I don't know what it was about the blurb that slightly put me off. I don't know, but it is gorgeous and I 
I haven't read a book about Vikings before so I'm actually really excited to read that. I hope that it has a lot of uh, like historical fiction aspects in it since it is about Vikings. I love reading historical fiction especially when they have like nuggets of information that was actually true. I know it is also a fantasy book so it will not be true to life but that would be super interesting if the book does do that. Okay, so that is the adult book for Fairy Loot, A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen and oh, beautiful. Okay, so obviously the other book is going to be the YA one. Watch me somehow still get this wrong and this is another adult book. I mean, I don't think that's possible, but it would happen to me just to make me wrong. Okay, the peak for this is pretty boring. It's just black <laughs> and I'm hoping the sides will be... Oh. The sides are gorgeous, guys. It's moths. Oh, that makes sense. The book is called The Crimson Moth. Oh my gosh, look at that dust jacket. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't normally like people on covers, but that is just stunning artwork. Like, that is gorgeous. I know that the person isn't real, so, like, that helps a lot. I don't like real people. I don't mind, like, characters and stuff, but that is, like, gorgeous. Okay, let's see this one naked and see the end pages. Oh my god, the end pages! Oh, as I said, sorry, it's called The Crimson Moth by Kristen Cicerelli? Cicerelli, that's my guess at how to pronounce it. Okay. Guys, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? The other end page is the same, but I, I'm not mad because it's so pretty. Guys, look at that! Oh, so gorgeous! Oh, book one! That means it's part of a series, which means I'll need to get the whole series from Fairy Oats so that it matches. Oh no! <laughs> okay, so now that I have odd about the book and went on about how gorgeous it is, let's find out if the story also <laughs> sounds good. Not that I care. I do care. Okay. <laughs> Book one in the Crimson Moth duology. So it's going to be a duology. Good to know. Oh, quick note. This also has a reverse dust jacket. I love when they do that. I actually prefer this one though. But anyway. The only thing more treacherous than being a witch is falling in love. On the night Rune's life changed forever, blood ran in the streets. Now, in the aftermath of a devastating revolution, Witches have been diminished from power rulers to outcasts, ruthlessly hunted due to their waning magic, and Rune must hide what she is. Spending her days pretending to be nothing more than a vapid young socialite, Rune spends her night as the Crimson Moth, a witch vigilante who rescues her kind from being purged. When a rescue goes wrong, Rune decides to throw the witch hunters off her scent by courting the handsome Gideon Sharp, except Gideon is a notorious and unforgiving witch hunter loyal to the revolution and falling for him would be deadly. That sounds so good, guys. It's actually not that often that I think that the YA book sounds better than the adult book, but in this instance, that sounds amazing. Although I do love books about witches, so that could be possibly why I'm feeling biased towards it. But oh, it sounds amazing. I cannot wait to read this book. Oh, speaking of which, I've actually not read any of my Fairy Loot or Illumicrate books yet which is pathetic actually and <laughs> I am thinking of maybe putting up a poll of a few of them to try and pick which should be my first one to read so I'll pick out maybe my top three or four that I want to read and then let people decide on bookstagram which one I read first and I'll probably try and read it in March so I might leave one of those for like my March TBR because I need to start reading these pretty edition books there's no point in them sitting just looking pretty on my shelves I'm not mad about them looking pretty on my shelves, it's just I should probably be reading them. And if they get read, they end up on these bookshelves rather than my other bookshelves, which means I can film with the pretty books in the background. Okay, so now that I've done the Fairy Loot box, I'll open up the Alum Crate box for Alum Crate. I get the book with the goodies. So I'm excited to see what goodies I got as well. My sister's opened this already and she said it was amazing and she can't wait for me to open it too so we can be obsessed about it together. And it's been so hard to not open it, guys. 
but I'm opening it now. <laughs> okay, I have opened the box and it is time. I spied this as I opened it and let out a little shriek and I'm really sorry that you don't get to see that. I haven't read this book yet but was planning on reading it in February. I'm actually going on a trip this weekend so I'm thinking of taking that book with me when I go down. It's a uh, Serpent in the Wings of Night so I'll probably read that this weekend and I might take this glass up with me so I can drink from the glass while I read the book. Is that not perfect? Is that not perfect? I'm excited to see what the glass actually looks like now. I'm getting excited by it just being inspired by a book that I have on my shelves and haven't read yet. So if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about me. <laughs> the straw! It is not so... <laughs> Sorry, I did not expect that. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. I don't know if you can see properly for this, but there's snakes on it. And it says here, death was everywhere in the house of night. And this goes in here. It's quite cute, so I wouldn't let with like a little bit for the straw to go in. <laughs> there we go, guys. I will take this with me and drink something from it while I read the book because I feel like that's just too perfect to not. Okay, so that's the first gift. I love these Elmacrate boxes I've been getting because a lot of like the goodies have been actually useful things that I will use. Like for example, there's been like notebooks, that glass, calendars, um, an apron even which I used but didn't have one before. We have these two jars that I use for TBR jars. I have found so many little goodies that are book inspired that I now get to use and it makes me so happy. I forgot to say by the way I got distracted by that. The theme was caged hearts and I will be referring to this at the end. For any of the goodies I don't know what they're from but I'm not going to look them now because I might end up giving something away. Okay, this is in a little velvet pouch and it feels like another something like this. So this is from The Cruel Prince and it's like a little replica. This feels like it's another kind of replica. It is! It is another kind of replica! Oh, what is this from? Oh, look at that guys. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? It's a trident, so I'm assuming it's from something pirate or sea related, and I don't think I've read it, but oh, that is beautiful. Okay, I will pop that away and I will let you know what it's from at the end when I refer to this little thing. Okay, the next thing is a key ring. Ooh, <gasps> inspired by the book eaters. That is also on my TBR. Oh. That is so good. So many of these are inspired by books that I need to read that are actually on my TBR and maybe this will motivate me to do it. I actually unboxed that If We Were Villains puzzle like during one of it and then I read If We Were Villains not that long after. So clearly this is like what I do to be able. Oh, sorry I stopped mid sentence there to admire the key ring. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this is motivation I need to read the books on my TBR. I need little bookish goodies associated to them. So this little keyring says fairy tales on it. Is that not beautiful? I'm going to go and pop that on my keys as soon as I'm done filming. Oh, and it's inspired by the book eaters. And I'm assuming that's because up here you can see there's been like a bite taken out. So that would make sense. Okay, I'm going to pop that down. Oh, I'm so happy so far this oh a travel case oh my god guys a Lumicrate is hitting hard hitting hard this month okay i'm just gonna cut over me crinkling about to open this because i know it could be quite annoying okay this travel case that is so cute i go on holiday a lot like i travel a lot and when i'm traveling i do normally only take a carry-on bag so i have like 
little cellophane bag things that I put my toiletries in but this is perfect because now I can put it in something actually cute so that's it open oh that's stunning I want to know what it's from but we'll need to wait oh that is amazing these are such useful goodies so far we've got a cup to drink out of a travel case a key ring and a replica a replica albeit isn't necessarily something insanely useful but it's cute okay now on to the main attraction the book again i'm gonna pass forward for me opening it because it's annoying guys it is gorgeous you've dropped something my jaw <laughs> Oh, I hadn't even seen the spread edges when I first reacted. Look at that. To Cage a God by Elizabeth May. The To Cage a God is like sticking out a little bit. Oh, look at that. The artwork is gorgeous. And the spread edges are gorgeous. Are you guys ready to see what this looks like naked? Oh, it's been a while since I've been more excited about the Illumicrate book than the fairy loot books. And don't get me wrong, I was still buzzing about the fairy loot books, but this is something else. <gasps> Guys, is that not beautiful? Look at that. I'm in love. <laughs> For this book, I'm going to go through the blurb as well, and let's hope it lives up to the beauty of the artwork for it. Okay. This is a bit of a longer one, guys. Are you ready? You sit down, you're comfy. Let's go. Using ancient secrets, Galena and Sarah's mother grafted gods into their bones. Bound to brutal de deities and granted forbidden power, no commoner has held in a millennia. The sisters have been raised as living weapons. Oh, it's about sisters. I love, oh, I love books about sisters. Anyway. <laughs> Now the time has come for them to overthrow an empire, no matter the cost. With their mother gone and their country on the brink of war, it falls to the sisters to take the helm of the rebellion and end the cruel reign of a royal family possessed by destructive gods. Because when the ruling Aluria invade, they conquer with fire and blood, and when they clash, common folk burn. While Sarah reunites with her estranged lover, who now leads the rebellion, Galena infiltrates the palace. In this world of deception and danger, her only refuge is an isolated princess whose whip-smart tongue and sharp gaze threaten to uncover Galena's secret. Torn between desire and duty, Galena must ha make a choice, work together to expose the lies of the Empire or bring it all down. Ooh, that sounds interesting actually. That sounds really interesting. Oh guys, the books are all hits. They are all hits this month. Is that not amazing? And the goodies, oh my gosh, the goodies. Okay, so a quick run through again. Oh, I forgot to show you the end pages. Okay, so that's end page one. And that is end page two. So I've got this, which is one at the front. And this, which is the one at the back. Sorry, I almost completely forgot to do that. I was way too distracted by how pretty the book was. I hadn't even looked at the end pages yet. Oh. Okay, so a quick run through of everything I got in my Illumicrate box. So first and foremost, we have the book To Cage a God by Elizabeth May. One last admiration for this book. We have a travel case, which I can now check what it's from without spoiling anything. Wonderful. So this travel case is inspired by One Dark Window, which I haven't read actually. Maybe I'll need to buy the book. We have the key ring, which is inspired by the book eaters. We have the drinking cup, which is from The Serpent and the Wings of Night. And then finally, I don't know why I put this away because I'm just going to need to open it again. We have the... Alton's Trident Replica from the Poppy War. Oh, guys, that's also on my TBR. Oh, amazing, amazing. That means I need to read it soon. Oh, what a wonderful box. What wonderful boxes. 
oh i'm so happy oh worth the wait worth the wait anyway thank you so much for tuning in to my unboxing video and i will see you next time bye